I wanted to share an extra little extension of the idea of pressing a bisque piece of some kind into the clay to create kind of like a little block stamp to create um, form in a piece. So I have some samples of some kind of more elaborate stamps rather than the one I had with just the cup that I used to make the, the sugar and creamer tray. So these are just made from um, leather hard slabs. I, I had a shape that I cut out of a template or out of a manila folder and I traced around that and cut the shapes out um, of leather hard clay and then just added some rough handles. They're not the fanciest looking <laughs> um, tools, but these are really great to use a slab that you've cut out a shape and I can literally press these into the slab to get um, dimension and then it has this nice profile on the sur surface of the clay. So it ends up with creating a little tray form that has that nice scalloped or whatever design you'd like to use um, middle part with the dimension formed by pressing that piece into the clay. So I've got a few examples of these. Um, and this is a new and exciting tool for me. Um, I'm really excited about experimenting some with it. So, you know, I've got some that are different sizes, some that are more simple than others, and then some that are a little bit more elaborate. So much like using the cup that we use to make the, um, the tray for the sugar and creamer, I'm going to have to use a little bit of force and a little bit of um, elbow grease to get this to press in well. And for these, because they've got a lot of different undercuts and things like that, I'm going to have to be really specific about pressing in the areas that have the more detail. So I, I already have a slab that I've cut out here and just decorated the rim. And this is that nice kind of soft leather hard um, state of the clay where I see it's a little bit bendy, but it's holding its shape a little bit. So when I press this in, this is going to pop up the sides and the sides are going to basically stay there. So here's one that's, you know, a little bit more elaborate of a press. I've got, you know, this was the first round that I started with to have this kind of cylinder handle. I think this works better for me personally with the almost like stamp handles on top of it. I feel like you just need to have them placed enough that you can put pressure on the different areas of the little block stamp to make the impression in your clay. So I'm going to space this evenly around. And you want to make sure when you're cutting these out, the, the actual extension of the tray that'll create the wall of the tray, that it's not too big. If you have too much of a of the sides of the tray, they'll tend to want to get floppy. So I'm going to first initially press this down really hard and then I'm going to, you know, rock toward myself and press around. So I'm going to kind of roll around with my stamp and roll that clay up around it and really make sure it's pressing in on the detailed parts. And then I can just pull this off and adjust the walls so they're evenly spaced up. And it makes that really nice impression that I think has just that nice subtle detail of something a little bit more elaborate than just a regular tray that has just a, a simple line on it. 